when you do see it, step up to the plate, you know, try, try to save her. No. I'm always step up. I can't stand that stuff. But um, the last question, um, which is, do you need closure? Now, this is more of a relationship. Um, I, I think some of us are more like, we don't need the friendship. I know Jerry said, he's like, I don't, because I think me and Daniel agreed on this, like, last week, like, if it's over with, it's over with. Like, we don't have to do the, hey, how are you, you know, um, type of thing. So, closure with your, your exes. If if it's not going good, y'all know if y'all on the verge of breaking up, how do you want the closure to be done? Do you feel like you need a face-to-face, a sit-down, you accept the text message, you accept FaceTime? Like, how do y'all want closure in a relationship? How do you want to break up? I'll say face-to-face. Face-to-face. What if that doesn't happen? Like, what if you were talking to somebody, they break up with you, and they just do it over text message, don't give you any reason why they just said, you know, it's over. I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. Like, how would you handle that type of, like, because that's rejection. Like, they don't, they broke up with you. I mean, it'll hurt, but you just, I mean, if they're refusing to, to meet with you, you just got to take what they give you and, and try to move on with that. Because I had a situation in my last, like, actual relationship we broke up, but it was it was it wasn't on like horrible terms. It wasn't nothing crazy that happened that made us break up. So we talked a couple months after we broke up and had a real good sit down, and it was great. Now I had another situation where it ended terribly. It was a huge, ridiculous situation, and closure happened for me that same day after, after that situation happened. Right. You know what I'm saying I knew I was done right then. Yeah, that's right. how it happens sometimes. Like the whatever happens, it's just like. I don't need to have any more closure. Like you show me like what was up. You show me how you was going to handle things. Like I feel like sometimes when people ask for closure, they're, they're opening it up for people to justify what they've doing, what, what they've done, or they're looking to see like, to make sure, Oh, it, make sure it is not anything with me. Even if that person had an issue with what happened or has an issue with you, that's on them. Like it's not for you to try to figure out like, why does this person not want me? Why did this person? And I know a lot of times it is that way, especially like after breakups and relationships. But, you know, at, at one point in time, I felt like, you know, even if it wasn't like relationship wise, like let's say I was just talking to a guy or whatever. And we were like, you know, conversing a lot or even may have been going out or whatever. And for whatever reason, it stopped. I used to be the type of person that would wonder well, what, why this happened or reaching out like, hey, you know, we used to text all the time. Da, 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 this happened. This happened. And I just feel like, you know, sometimes you just got to take it for what it is. Like Jerry said, like, it, it, you know, just move on. Like, you can try to want, like, to. It, I mean, I think sometimes it's good to, like, oh, I wonder why, you know, maybe it was some outside things that happened or, you know, something they'd have been dealing with would be nice to know. But, I mean, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, like, once somebody, I feel like that should, it should be that way, not even just in relationships, sometimes friendships or relationships that you have with other people. Like sometimes, I mean, closure is not the best because I feel like if you're so hung up on getting closure, you're not going to really be able to move on. Like if you are a type of person who needs closure, you're never going to be able to move on from relationships that are dead to you. Like people that you need to cut off or people that are no longer good for you. If you're constantly wondering, you know, why this person doesn't do this or why they don't like me or why did the friendship end or why did the relationship end? Like you're never going to be able to fully like move on with your life. Right. I agree with Being that. Being the closure should be a requirement. Um, but I mean, of course, you know, it's better. I think it also depends on how long the situation was. I know me and my ex were together for eight years. And I would say that closure was needed, but it wasn't required. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because uh, I mean, that's almost a decade of my life. So like, right. I needed yeah. that closure. But if I didn't, if I wasn't able to have it, I don't think that it would have like messed me up or I would have felt like I couldn't move on or anything else like that. But, you know, we, you converse with people, like, a few times over the phone. Like, maybe you're meeting someone, and you meet them a few times, and maybe y'all just stop talking. Like, what is, there to, what, is, what is there to close? You know what I mean? Like, so. Being the salty that I am, <laughs> um, I agree. Clo- clo- closure is not required. But I would, me personally, I would like to have closure in a uh, – in, in a real relationship, not the talking stage, not, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about if we're in a relationship, I kind of need closure. Not, not, it's, it's more so because if at one point in time we were in either strong like or love, something changed, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I need to figure out if it's something that I did just so I can learn from that. 
You know what I'm saying? Because it's always going to be, if you don't get closure in some situations, I really feel like, you know, closure is like a Band-Aid. You can potentially bleed on that next relationship if you don't get that closure about what is going on. You know what I'm saying? As far as, far as like, long relationships. So I kind of need, like, to know, okay, if there was one day, there was one period of time where you really, really were feeling me. You was in love with me. And now that's not the case. So either something I did change, somebody else came along and changed that. I kind of need to know that. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's like, hey, your attitude towards me changed and it turned me off. Now I know, okay, I need to pay more attention to my attitude in the future. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's just certain. That's the reason why I request closure in substantial relationships, whether it's friendships or romantic relationships. Uh, yeah. family because it's just like why don't you mess with me no more what did i do to make you not want to communicate with me yeah and then now it's more so like okay this is what happened this is what turned me off and so now i'm like okay well i can take that and apply that to my future yeah so yeah i need i need that because i there's a lesson there somewhere that i need to learn and me i'm i, I consider I, i'm an overthinker so it's like now it's like okay maybe everything i did was just messed up exactly so like, i can't even i i can't even i don't even want to get into another relationship because i feel like if i leave the toilet seat up she's gonna leave you yeah. know what i'm saying like i can't i can't think like that i can't go on thinking like that so yeah i kind of i kind of yeah i understand closure. wanting closure but i guess my thing is too like you have to be be able to be okay with not getting closure and being able to yeah of course that. i agree that's like, what i say it's not required. Want, you want i mean I everybody agree. would want to know like if something like if like you said you were in a relationship with somebody you know, 10 years, 11 years, or, you know, you had a friendship going on for whatever reason that you're no longer friends no more, you're no, no longer in a relationship, of course, you're going to be wondering, like, dang, you know, we spent all this time together, and we messed with each other, like, this whole time, and now all of a sudden, it's just, you don't want to mess with me no more, so I understand, like, wanting to have that closure, I guess my thing is, don't always expect it, or always, like, cling to it, because mm -hmm. I just feel like that, mm -hmm. like, even with you just saying you're an overthinker and like, you're out, like when you move on, you're going to be constantly thinking like, oh, well, I, I wonder if it was this that messed it up or this that messed it up. Like, I feel like sometimes if you know what you did in a relationship, let's say, you know, that you did nothing wrong and this person may have had whatever going on, whatever. Like, if you know that you didn't do anything wrong or you don't feel like there was, you know, anything bad on your part not saying that you can't own your stuff but at the same time like i don't feel like you should be racking your brain trying to figure out what was but it's it. not what i don't think it's always about whether i think i did everything right because there's been plenty of situations that i have been in where i right. thought i was doing everything right you know what i'm saying but i'm still learning and yeah. i'm still learning how to love and i'm still learning women so right, it's like right. I need to know there's a certain situation. God puts people in your life. For a reason I see. Not the, for, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, that's the reason why in that situation, I'm like, okay, for the woman you have for me, for the woman that you have created me for, there's yeah. going to be certain things because he gives us the power of free will. We can mess up right. what God has for us. You know what I'm saying? So like we, for me, it's more so like, okay, this could be a similar situation to the future and now I know how to handle it. Yeah, I get you know what, what you're saying? saying. And I, I, I didn't mean, like, that, like I didn't mean that it's like, you know, I didn't do anything. Like, I know I did everything right. I mean, everything mm -hmm. right because, you know, like you said, certain situations, like, you are unaware of, like, the things that you may have done. Right. But, you know, if you're constantly asking the person to, like, you know, like, did I do something? And they just, like, not give you anything. And, you know, oh, they just... when you walk away. Don't be crazy. Yeah, right. I'm just yeah. saying, I, I'm going to still ask for it. Like, hey... Can we talk about this? And if they don't respond or if they're like, no, I'm good, I'm going to be like, I'm going to wash yeah. my hands up. Yeah, because I think that's you. that's my thing with it, too. Like, I'm yeah. going to probably, like, ask, like, what's up? Like, what happened? But if from that, if you continuously, like, to, to not want to speak on it or you continuously, like, just try to act like nothing happened, then from that point on, I feel like I could just take my hands off of it. Because you tried, you attempted to get the closure. That person didn't want to, want to, for whatever reason, explain what happened, what didn't happen. I feel like at that point on, move on. I don't feel like it should be the person like still trying to continuously work at it to get closure, get closure. If you reached out, tried to, wanted then to time, then that should, yeah, just, just let, let that it go. Yeah. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? 
Do you what? think that you, I was trying to ask Daniel a question. Okay. Do you think that you may feel like you need closure from certain people? Are there some situations where you wouldn't care for the closure? Because like listening to you. Um, talk, if you I cheat on me, I don't need no closure. <laughs> I don't need nothing from you. That tells me everything. That goes back two episodes ago when my, my first episode. If you if you if you commit any type of infidelity with me, I don't need that because the simple fact of the matter is at the beginning of the relationship, this is the warning. So when you actually, you know what I'm saying, cheat on me, it's more so like, okay, then that's good. Or if I felt like if I felt like this relationship has been over and we're just going through the motions, I don't think I'll necessarily need that closure it's more so if it's sudden for me well let me, let me let me piggyback off of what courtney said about you're in the cheating thing so even if she cheated right you still don't want to know like why like was it sexually like you still don't want to know like well, was i not doing enough was i not like where where was i lacking like you still don't want to know because you for the next woman so you can better your sex game for the next woman yeah <laughs> like no <laughs> <laughs> you still don't want to know you be like damn I, I thought I was I thought we was you know I thought we was sexually compatible because think about it like if she's cheating then I mean I would yeah yeah now that I think about it yeah I probably still would I probably it, I wouldn't need it but it wouldn't be nice to have you oh, know what I'm saying well huh I said I was asking Daniel so if somebody cheats if somebody he's with cheats on him then that's automatically she's out like they ain't oh, no yeah, oh no yeah that. yeah i said yeah, yeah yeah i'm as strong as that as jared is on the whole kid thing like it <laughs> literally literally like th that's a conversation that we have when we before we even start getting together that's just me i can only talk about me like listen like there's there's it, it, i'm I always ask what's your deal breakers what is your deal breakers that's the most important question one of the most important questions for me what is your deal breakers because one of my deal breakers are infidelity I take pride in, in never in being able to say with my head held high that I never cheated a day in my life. And I hold anybody I talk to to that standard. And if you can't be to that standard, just break up with me. <laughs> then you tell me, okay, you're not doing something for me. You're not doing something for me. And that's where the closure would be nice. What am I not doing? You know what I'm saying? Are you consider emotionally cheating a deal for my answer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. I do. Ashley, I do. Yes. But what are you saying, Courtney? I'm sorry. No, I was saying, listening to you talk, I kind of want to change my answer because there is, like, I think there's a few people that I would probably, like, how that guy we were just talking to in the comments, Whitney, was talking about stalking. Yeah. Like, my best friend, like, my best friend, if she were to just stop talking to me and stop being, like, trying to be friends with me, I'd probably stalk her ass. I would have to <laughs> One, she knows too much. And two, I just, that's... Oh, that's, you got to offer. That's, like, oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's... that's <laughs> I offer. <laughs> when I think of my best friend, like that's that's my baby. That's that's she's my best 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 friend in the whole wide world. I I don't think I could literally just let that go. I don't think I could. So basically, it sounds like you would kind of be like how men are in relationships, like where they'd be like, okay, baby, you can you can have it your way. So basically, if you saw like I was about to butt heads, you just no no no, no. we 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 butt heads all the time. Okay. <laughs> we're 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 apples and oranges. We butt heads all the time, and that's probably why I wouldn't be able to ha well not handle it, but I wouldn't be able to just accept that she's not talking to me because I'm like we can talk to anything. We can. Literally and that's my point. Yeah, it's like not. in real relationships, long relationships, like we're better than this. Yeah, there's been some things we had to get through before. So what happened to where we couldn't get through this? And that's right. kind of what I need to know because Listen, we don't like in, in any relationship. She hadn't answered my phone call for three days. I started calling her job, so I, I, <laughs> I have to wow. say I wouldn't be able to. Do huh? I said, wow. Yeah, so I wouldn't. Well, one, I was worried about her because I was like, she does not just not answer me. So where the hell is she? I found her, but. As long as you found her, that's what matters. I did. She didn't have her phone, but I was like, it's been three days and I have not talked to her. <laughs> is she okay? You had asked a question, Ashley, um, and I said yes to it, but I don't remember the question. What oh, yeah, yeah. It was about, um, because uh, I said that I haven't physically cheated on a guy that I've dealt with, but I have emotionally stepped out on him, meaning like conversing for me, with somebody else for me emotionally is 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 worse to me than well, we, sexually we, cheating I, well, you know what i'm saying just i ain't gonna go into it i, but feel, like I just feel like 
that's safety. You know? that, that would hurt me. That would hurt me more than somebody hopping in the sack because the simple fact of like sex can really be mechanical for some people. You know what I'm saying? But like, what am I not doing to keep your interest? You know what I'm saying? So that's why it would be like, dang, like you really talking to this man and having a feeling for this other man, you supposed to be with me. That I feel like that would kind of hurt me and my ego a little more than stepping out physically. Just to answer yeah. your question. Jared is shaking his head. I mean, I agree. Like, I don't want my girl, you know, getting all lovey dovey with another dude, but that's gonna hurt right here. Yeah. Like, oh. I'm gonna be like that. You miss ask, somebody else and it ain't me. Question, and we're gonna close this out. And this is for the guys. Ladies, y'all don't have to answer. Jared and Daniel. Do y'all believe yes, yes Ashley? Do y'all believe yes or no that women have work husbands? Yeah. Are you familiar with that? Some of them do. Okay. All right. So we're gonna that's probably gonna be one of the next topics, you know, uh, on the next episode. But we're gonna close it out. The question was um, do you need closure in a relationship? So I think we all agree that yes, you do need some type of closure. Um, my answer with that is. Uh, I'm kind of like a I, I, D, A, D, whatever them acronyms is. I don't give a fuck, per se. But that's just like the invisible force feel around me because, of course, I care. You know, I'm, I'm not a Morion all the time. I got an icebox where my heart used to be. You know, that's just a defense mechanism. You know, but um, I care, but I just don't like to show that I care. So I put up that. I don't care anyway, nigga. I'm, you know, but I really do care, you know. But I'm not going to stalk you or nothing physically just online thank god for social media but um thank you everybody for watching what, what was you about to say Courtney? no i was saying i just wanted to clarify i'm only stalking her i'm not stalking everybody else. <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> um thank you everybody for watching we about to um i'm not closing this live out um because i posted in there but i'm gonna post again real quick um the number that you can call for the after show with the topics that y'all see that we talked about tonight, or if there's something else that you want to talk about, hence the uh, Lori Harvey and um, Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan, and then also the Russell and the Sierra, or if you can't do closure, or if you don't, you know, whatever, whatever. But thank you everybody for watching. Um, we're about to do the after show. Um, I'm going to post the number one more time. <laughs> <laughs> But um, so uh, I'm gonna post them one more time um and do a brief little intermission. Like I see I'm it on do, your face, girl. I'm gonna do a little brief little <laughs> two minute intermission. Like we're still gonna be up here, but I'm just gonna give y'all time to like call in, dial in, and then I have to accept y'all in here. Okay. So um, but yeah, I'm about to post it again. And thank you, Jared, for coming on. Yes, Jared, this was good. I enjoyed I'm the conversation. Anytime, my dog. <laughs> No. As far as, as far as like... <laughs>